Well, among the things that aren't finished yet are the knee blocks. So we've got a sample one here that I uh, I had made a paper paper template here, and it fits in there. So I cut it out on a bandsaw for a sample, and it kind of fits there. So that's a, a pretty good uh, pretty good template. So what we want to do is match the grain. So these are all marked somewhere. So this is one, that one's two, and so forth. These are the tops of the uh, pieces that I cut off when I made the cabriolet legs. And so they're marked to match it uh, so that we can put the, the grain next to the piece that was here so that it that we get a good match to it so that's what we're going to do next is uh, match up these blocks and uh, cut out the I'll show you how we do it we'll uh, cut it out on the bandsaw and then ultimately we'll glue it on here we don't put any glue up here but we do put glue this way and then we'll do final shaping so that it's uh, matched there. So I matched the grain for this particular leg to the block uh, by getting it oriented according to the way that it was cut out. And then I uh, put the template on here and of course drew a line on there and then I cut it out on the bandsaw. So now we have the block shaped and uh, it's a matter of lining it up here and then uh, drawing a line along the uh, shape of the cabriolet leg where we want to mount it. And now we're going to cut out this shape on the bandsaw. So I uh, taped it back together uh, on the square block to help keep it uh, perpendicular to the to the table. I glued on the uh, knee blocks here after uh, cutting them out on the bandsaw and I did clean them up a little bit before I glued them on but uh, of course they're just glued on this face here there uh, no, there's no glue up there and so I'm using a, a large chisel here to uh, pair them off when I uh, glued them I left them proud by a 32nd so that it would allow me to come in here and get them flush so after we get them uh, nice and paired and uh, this one up here isn't going to do too well but uh, we'll ultimately fill that this has to be we use a rasp down here to finish shaping this on the bottom here so that that is correct but um, that's pretty much uh, and then this is a little proud there so we'll cut that back so we've got the knee blocks on here now and they are uh, been trimmed and I did match the grain pretty well at least on the front ones which is the most important so there's not much left to go here. Uh, we're gonna, now we're going to work on the top, uh, which we you know we're going to put a edge molding on that. Uh, maybe baby butt corners. I don't know. I got to look into that. And then the, we'll apply the hardware, take it off, and then we'll be ready for finishing.
So that's about all that's left to do. Well, I'm pretty much finished with the top now. So I did put the uh, molded edge on there and uh, I cut undercut it on the bottom there so that it's round actually on the on the front. So uh, other than that, uh, of course, it's going to need sanding and finishing. So I've started to work on the um, hardware, mounting the hardware, and I've got the two uh, side drawers there centered. I did have the top on once, and I can show you. So I put these in, of course, when we were making it. Uh, knowing that I was going to mount it to here. So we've got uh, drilled holes for uh, a number 10 screws. But the um, thing I wanted you to notice is the back two or uh, three. Let's move in here a little bit. It should help. So the back uh, three holes here are elongated. So when the screws come up, it'll be uh, tight from here to here, but this whole back half, uh, actually more than half, will be allowed to move um, either front or back, depending upon the season, so that we don't crack the, crack the top. Um, I guess I've given it about an eighth of an inch to move. Uh, this is hot and humid weather that I'm making it so when it's mounted the only thing uh, that it's going to ever do is shrink uh, so the uh, holes uh, the extensions are this side of the center of, of where that uh, fits so um, pretty much we're done with that so the next the next thing to do is to mount the lock well I'm working on the uh, lock uh, the mortise for the lock now and uh, I used the lock as a template and uh, marked out where the, uh, the pin would be uh, when it's down here flush with the, the top. And uh, there it is, there's the mark. So I'm getting close to the correct depth right now and uh, of course we have to leave room for the uh, secondary recess or mortise Not only does this part of the lock have to clear, uh, we're going to also put a, a second mortise all the way around here, which is a, the metal is about a sixteenth of an inch thick. So we have to allow for that in this. So to get it flat, I can use my router plane here to get a nice flat bottom on the thing. Well, it's not too important, but uh, it has to be the right depth. And then we want to make sure that we have the hole in the right place and later we'll cut out the keyhole. Well, I've got the mortises cut in here now. So we've got the shallow mortise and a deep mortise. And of course the shallow here on the top so the lock fits in the correct place like so and uh, we'll add the screws later and I did drill it through and uh, so now we have to put the uh, scutcheon on there and uh, trace out the uh, keyhole 
and then cut it out with a keyhole saw. That'll be next. So here's a tip I learned from uh, the SAP FM uh, about marking uh, where the uh, lock recess goes and you can see it's a, a bit lighter right now but um, I used to use dry erase marker or other pencil on there uh, but one of the guys in the uh, SAP FM so what do the pros do? And they use lipstick. I suppose you could use a, a grease pencil too, but um, anyway, you put some lipstick on there and then uh, take it down, slip it in, and then push the uh, lock strike uh, up against the wood and it makes a nice perfect mark to where the hole should be. So now we gotta chop out that mortise. So here's the mark that the uh, lock uh, striker left on the bottom here uh, from the lipstick so we've got to uh, chisel that out to uh, probably about a quarter inch to half inch deep well that's the next step so we'll chip that out of there so I've been chopping away at the uh, mortise here with my small chisel and I think we got it deep enough and flat on the bottom there. So this is a uh, gauge is set to the height of the um, lock and it does move around in there. There's a little little bit over here in the corner I think that it's touching. This side is clear. Mm, yeah a little bit a little bit down in here. So there we have it uh, with all the hardware on it and uh, there's nothing left to do but sand and uh, probably dye it and then uh, add a spray shellac finish to it. We'll see how that goes. So the construction is complete. <laughs>